So we are seeing XRP expand exponentially outside of the US, now breaking into Argentina's economy. Guys, this is huge potential news for holders. What is up guys, welcome back to your daily source of news on all things crypto and make sure you stay till the end for my XRP price prediction. In today's news we have XRP at point $62, up 0.38%, so it's been going sideways for the past 24 hours, uh, even for the past around 4 days. It's been trying to hold on to the 0.60 resistance point, uh, breaking... Uh, going under it for a brief moment here but recovering uh, nonetheless it's been hovering more around the 0.61 to 0.62 point but the 0.60 is the crucial one we don't got, don't want to go below it so uh, we are seeing xrp expand out of the us exponentially as we all know xrp has been uh, pretty uh, restrained in the us because of the court case against the sec it's uh it's been how should i say uh pretty much gridlocked in the us and uh most of its profits are coming from outside and it's great to hear that xrp is with the big dogs here bitcoin and ethereum and breaking into new economy so argentina's largest private bank launches crypto services so trade cryptos with Banco Galicia. Customers of the Banco Galicia can now buy and sell crypto on the bank's platform thanks to its new crypto trading feature. The bank announced the new feature via Twitter where it posted Banco Galicia launches a new and innovative service for its customers, offering the top purchase, sale and custody of cryptocurrencies in a simple, secure and one-step place. As of now, only four cryptocurrencies have been included in this feature. feature Bitcoin, Ether, USD coin and Ripple XRP. However, the bank has cl clarified that it will expand its list of crypto offerings to include more coins down the road. In addition, the bank also announced on Twitter that it would be adding new investment options. So Li uh, Lirium X Banco Galicia, Banco Galicia has partnered partner with Lirium, a Liechtenstein based crypto service provider for digital wallets and mobile banking apps to provide the crypto trading service. Lirium worked in tandem with Hong Kong based digital asset trading platform OSL to set up the crypto trading and custody service of Banco Galicia's platform. Lirium CEO Martin Kopatz has clarified that the feature, uh, feature does not allow users to withdraw or send crypto, instead users can only buy or sell crypto. Kopatz has also said that the bank plans to make the service available to all customers by mid-May. The, uh, the crypto service provider is reportedly also helping four other Argentinian financial institutions set up and launch crypto trading services. Furthermore, its, its services seemingly extending into similar, similar integrations in Brazil and Mexico as well. So crypto in Argentina. Argentina has long suffered one of the highest inflation rates in the world. Currently, it is at 50%. Therefore, it makes sense that many Argentinian investors and citizens have been turning to cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum to hedge against inflation in recent years. On top of that, Latin America seems to be going through a crypto revolution with multiple countries like Cuba, Brazil and Panama following El Salvador's footsteps and opening up to cryptocurrencies in varying degrees so it's great to hear ex uh, crypt uh, sorry guys great to hear xrp fighting it off with the big dogs trying to break into new economies and actually being successful in it i think xrp has a great great future ahead of it if it continues like this and especially with the court case that is heavily in our favor when that concludes i think we will be seeing some massive massive gains so don't let the downward trend deter you guys this coin has insane potential and you don't want to miss on the potential profits in the future for xrp so that is it for today's news guys come back tomorrow